Welcome back, 75 gallon mixed reef aquarium. We're gonna jump right into it. A little reminder of some of my favorite shots, especially this setup right there in the center of the tank. But after probably two hours or so, hands in the tank, we did some rearranging. Got rid of the nuisance Zoas quick shot of um, some products I wanted to highlight that I'm currently using the New Life Spectrum, Salcon, the glue that I use, uh, the carbon, and then I had to dose uh, 30 mil twice um, to bring my uh, calcium up. So we'll start off on the right hand side and we'll work our way over to the left. Uh, fragged a piece of the kryptonite trumpet coral, put it next to the green bubble coral. Uh, you can see the GSP is still ticked off. It got chopped left and right as much as I could. Uh, but that is very resilient. So uh, I put the clove polyps over here. They were attached to the purple hammer, purple tip hammer. Um, I ended up putting those on a sand bed to torch corals. Uh, they're too close to the torch corals. More GSP I cut back. Uh, open up this area, uh, which was a favorite hangout spot for the yellow tang. So some of the territories got a little bit reshuffled. New spot for the trumpet crawl, bright green. Added that SPS right there. Um, I basically pulled out the bright green trumpet coral that was right here. It was covered with those new scent zoas, which you see some of those remaining right there, but the um, green, bright green meteor shower will keep those in check. Um, so there's a bird's nest down in the valley back there. Opened up all this area. Uh, I believe that purple favia um, orange eye purple favia got that from tidal gardens i love this area of the tank i was able to get some of the coralline algae off of the front glass right there and then the bubblegum digi i fragged it up and so we have two frags here i think there's another one someplace else in the tank and then we have the pinwheel trumpet coral and hopefully those uh, i think those are bam bam so it was bright Orange Joas will help balance out some of the green in the tank. And then the other Chaos are doing good. Uh, and then I glued a SPS over here. I don't know if it's going to get too much shade, but we'll see how it does over there. It looks like it's touching the leather coral, but it's plenty of space in front of it. And it does get some light from the Kessels. So I placed some of the bright green trumpet corals over here um, to try and, I need to clean the glass there, but to try and create some type of barrier for the um, red gonipora, which is really good at stinging corals. Here's a shot of the purple tip hammer when it's fully open. Right now, it's ticked off. Had my hands in the tank, moving it around. So I do have nitrates back. Um, I may have slightly overdosed a couple days ago, um, but that's okay. Um, I can always get those down. I'm pretty, pretty straightforward in getting those down. It's the phosphates that give me the biggest challenge. So these zoas, um, I brought the bunch from the left-hand side of the tank um, on the sand bed up front, and I still need to figure out where I'm going to put those, but at least they're up front. Pulled a bunch of um, old sh uh, snail, dead snail shells out of the tank. Threw some in the back from the blue-legged crabs. And that's about it. Thanks for watching. Welcome to your subscribers.